Hey, I'm back. Uh, I know I left the call there for a sec, but I'm back for part two of this update. And now we are going to be purchasing the first set of, set of cars. We're actually just going to go straight to the HQ. This is going to be the first Volt Interceptor unit. Now, I'm actually curious, to be honest, because I'm not too sure if these, the way these are going to work. Because obviously the... The normal, the, the Summit ones and the Battle Pass ones, those ones are staying exclusive to this Battle Pass, to the Summit, which is the 4 GT is going to be a Summit one for next Summit, and the Battle Pass ones, obviously, they're going to stay exclusive. Are the ones that you can just purchase, are they going to disappear or are they going to stay? Now, it's a bit of an, <clears throat> it's a bit of an expensive bundle, but... Also, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not wasting any time. I'm jumping straight into this. Now, I thought this was a, was this not a Battle Pass exclusive? Okay, and why am I in this thing? I thought that was a Battle Pass exclusive, but I guess not. By the way, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I'm going to be uploading more today, more tomorrow. We're going to purchase this bundle for bucks, obviously, because thanks to the Battle Pass, I'm now broke when it comes to crew credits. They are now purchased, so let's go test them out. Now, the game did just go under for a second. I wasn't able to actually use the game at all, uh, play it, because they accidentally managed to make the DeLorean monster truck purchasable and the Mazda Thunder Wave. And the Mazda Thunder Wave is actually one of the cars that I hadn't unlocked. Oh, that's kind of cool. The tires are white as well. I'm going to go straight into customizing these, to be honest. The Mazda Thunder Wave is actually one of the cars that I didn't have until it just came back this summit. Now I do have it. Got two Motor Pass rewards, but I'll leave that for the Motor Pass Episode 2, which will be out after this one. And also after this one, we're going to be checking out the cars that aren't the interception units. This one is just going to be exclusively the interception units. But how many times can I say interception unit? But as I was saying earlier, do leave a like, do subscribe. I'm going to be uploading more today. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the streaming channel, link will be in the description. And if you really want, I also do a podcast. I'm gonna stick to the actual library. I could go with one of the um, official ivory tower libraries, but... Oh, you know what? I've literally just spotted that for a split second, but it looked kind of cool. Yeah, you know what? It's a vault interception unit doesn't mean it can't be a vault interception unit in style of course obviously got to put some good red vanities on this thing because there's not much better you can do with it really now here is it next to the normal venino to be honest veneno venino to be honest you can't really tell the difference if you take off the livery it's literally it does have that pinstripe the pinstripe is slightly different but if you take off the livery, honestly, you, you cannot tell that it's a different car. Not in the slightest, honestly, not even in the slightest. But now at least it has some cool customizations on it. And it's also a lot faster. It handles nicer than the normal Veneno. If there wasn't cars just everywhere. But to be honest, I, I haven't... Tri oh, okay, this thing handles a lot better than the normal one. You can turn the siren on, but really that's... That's kind of all this thing is, is that it comes with like stock vanity sirens or a stock topper and those uh, lights at the front. What do they look like if I'm in here? You can see them glowing through, which I guess makes sense. It makes sense. I guess we, we throw this thing in a race. Of course, this is going to have to be a hypercar race, as, as, as is expected. We'll just do any hypercar race, to be honest. This one seems like a shorter one. I'm not going to be doing the... Um, uh, the chase events in this episode because that is going to be for the actual chase episodes the uh, videos specific to the chase so I'm going to leave the chasing to them but for now I'm going to do the Hollywood event we're going to see how this thing compares to just any old hypercar you know now these things are on ace but if I'm honest these have never been really uh, it's never really been a, a winning battle for any of the AIs ace or not I did take a second there for my Nitro to actually kick in, but... Now, I don't have Nitro Chemist. These are literally bog-standard, um... Bog-standard parts. I've already beat them, so really, the, <laughs> the race is already over. But this thing, I noticed, handles nothing like the original Veneno. 
Cause the other Veneno Veneno, who cares? Cause the other Veneno was um in it was one of the cars you had to use for an event in the summit recently. The last summit actually, the uh, Untamed Italian summit. And so I had to use this thing, the normal version of it, and it is not good. It is really not good. Like it is painful to use. It's that not good i really don't like using the veneno the normal one because it's just it's a very stiff handling car i've screwed that up abysmally nice it handles very stiff but this thing actually knows what it wants to do when it turns i assume that's done by design really we're not going to know how good this thing handles until a core comes through with its pro settings which i'm not too sure if he's done at the moment but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him the, the, I'm gonna give him some time to perfect his pro, pr to perfect his pro settings, so that we can just carry on and play some events in this thing. I, I really like this library. I think the library's worked, even though without a vault interceptor library, it's pretty useless because it really isn't even a vault interceptor at that point. It's just the normal car, but. It might as well be like the summit variant of the car, but that's more or less what the um, 4 GT is going to be because it's literally just the 4 GT, but the police version. So it's more or less the summit version of it. And what I'm also wondering is how a lot of summits come back. So does that mean that the 4 GT summit can come back as well? Because surely that means that the 4 GT summit can come back as well. Because I wouldn't be surprised if they did something like that. Ivory Tower is the company to bring that back even though the battle pass for it has run out. I wouldn't think there'd be too many Summit um, themed cars. I mean that as in there wouldn't be too many Summit cars that are the theme of that episode or season. But there could be. There could be maybe one more, two more. So there could actually, yeah, there could actually be more summit cars coming up and summits as we've learned are completely well and able to come back like there is nothing stopping a summit vehicle from coming back because the summit can come back whenever it whenever it so pleases here i own three security cars now and not to brag but i think all of them look pretty cool of course now we're going to go into customizing after i put some good parts on it now i'm not going to put the the extreme nitro chemist parts on it the really buffed boosted ones but i will just put some average purple maxed out parts on them so then i can i can go customize it you know i'm literally within the first like hour maybe less than you know what uh screw it i couldn't find anything else better so i'm actually just gonna go with this library because it's not the worst i mean i do have some good yellow vanities so that will make up for it Hopefully, yeah, I think that doesn't look too bad. It's okay. Do we got dark yellow? How is that not a thing yet? How is it when I'm hovering over these nitros that it doesn't actually simulate it nitroing? Like, that's such a massive oversight that I just can't think why they wouldn't have added by now. To be honest, I can't see. I guess I'll just go for him, you know? When in doubt, go through you know what i'm really liking how that turned out like i'm actually really liking how that car turned out and i think we're just gonna toss that into a race i guess i mean there's not a lot more to do with it when in doubt and you don't know what event to play let's be honest there's only one event you can play that's in street and that is the south strip i still think now i might be wrong but i'm pretty sure this is actually one of the best races in street still i can consistently get like a like a one minute 40 time on this event and this should be a good test for if this can really go around a a small curvy track you would say i did actually a clip before this you won't have seen it because it was a, a horrendous i was doing um the cascade scenic tour and that event is in snow by default which is why i was covered in snow when i came into this event uh <laughs> this thing is um Let's just say when it comes to long distance and curves in that regard, this thing isn't 
the best, especially on snow. Don't take this thing anywhere near snow, because it's not going to be able to handle it. Now, to be honest, just because these things are made so much for swerving, like these things are built for swerving, because obviously you're going to be ramming AIs out of off the, off the track, killing them, so you can get your event done. So obviously these things are built more for ramming them, tackling them. That was nice there. So it's just, so the turning is quite good. It'll be weird to see if these actually start taking over the leaderboards in events because they well and truly could because they are very, very good at handling, dare I say, if you know how to handle them right. And if you're actually looking at the game instead of looking over at your camera, that would um that would kind of help maybe. Only a tad though, only a tad. Once I'm done with this event now, once I'm done with this event now, I'm gonna be moving on to the battle pass. I'm gonna be doing the challenges on the battle pass, completing that. That will be the next episode coming out. It will be also coming out today. Uh, yes, I am spam uploading today. Like I am spam spam uploading, and I know it's a bit much. But there's a new update out, so subscribe, you know, so you can catch all the content as soon as it goes up. I messed up that respawn, I messed up that shortcut. You know what? Do me a favor and subscribe. Subscribe out of pity, because at the moment it seems I'm just messing up every single turn and every single uh, shortcut I can do on this. But you know what? I came first in an ace event. Not like it isn't one of the easiest street races to complete in the game. Today you're going to see another part to the completing event in the new update. You're also going to see another battle pass video go up and you're also going to see a video go up for the new cars that don't include these interceptor cars. Sorry for the spam, do subscribe for more good crew content. I'm going to be uploading quite a lot this week so stay tuned. I'm going to be streaming tonight uh, maybe around whenever or i might reschedule it to tomorrow hope you guys enjoyed this video do leave a like check out my streaming channel check out my podcast and stay tuned for another upload a lot more uploads i'll um i'll call you back in a second uh, in a bit